I guess we'll have a look at two later, which is by Siza. Just have two chords, and we have this nice little arpeggio going throughout the whole song. It's based on the E major chord, and then the B major. That's it. So what I'm doing is I'm having a ring finger bar on the seven frets. I'm sorry, on the nine frets of D G B, not seven frets. So we got nine frets of D G B, and now that's basically our E major chord. Now for the B major chord, I'll have seven fret on B, eight fret on G, nine fret on D. I'll use my thumb to hit the D string, and next to hit the G string, middle finger to hit the B string, and I'll go do this. I'll play B, followed by G, followed by D, four times. So we got B, G, D, B, G, D, B, G, D, B, G, D, and end it with one stroke on the B string. Then you go to B major chord and do the same thing. B, G, D, 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 B. That's it. You want to get add the B note, which is E string open, and seven fret on the E string. So it sounds like this: one, two, three, four. In case you want to strum the chords, you can strum E major over here, uh, and maybe over here. Having open nine nine eight open open, this is like a beautiful way of playing a B major chord in the shape of E. As a whole song, let me know what other songs you want to learn from a new album. Uh, I've got plenty. Check out them, and I'll see you guys back in the next video. Bye.